Sika Anuai, father of Roman Reigns and one half of the Wild Samoans, lived from 1945 to 2024. Put him down. Tucked underneath a big blow, but oh, leapfrog. Nice moves by Scotty. Afa Anuai, older brother to Sika, and also one half of the Wild Samoans, lived from 1943 to 2024. Afa appears to be in trouble, but you're not going to hurt the Samoans that way. Together, these two would go on to become one of the most prolific tag teams in wrestling history. Now, we can spend hours talking about this Anuai family tree, but just for the sake of this video, let's focus on Afa and Sika, who are pointed out by the arrows on the picture. Afa and Sika were born in Samoa. Afa in 1943, followed by Sika in 1944. They were only two out of a whopping 13 siblings. In 1960, at the age of 17, Afa left Samoa to come to San Francisco in order to join the Marines. He would remain with the Marines for well over 10 years. Sika and the rest of the family also moved to San Francisco because often Sika's father had just become a pastor of a Samoan church that was recently built there. A few years later, Sika enlisted in the United States Merchant Marine. He worked on ships that were sailing to the Philippines and Japan. In the 70s, Afa decided to try out his career in wrestling. He began training with High Chief Peter Maivia and Rocky Johnson. Once he had a few matches under his belt, had extra training, and got more comfortable in the ring, he sent for his younger brother Sika to come join him. And just like that, the Wild Samoans were born. Just a year or two into being a tag team, they won their first set of tag belts in Calgary. They also won the tag titles in Vancouver that same year. They quickly made a name for themselves in Stampede Wrestling. Stampede Wrestling's promoter, Bob Leonard, said that they were green, but they were bulls. They looked the part, and they had pretty good moves. He said that they were born to be stars. They absolutely dominated the tag team division during the 70s all over the United States. Arguably, their best runs took place during 1975 in the Detroit Territory and also in 1982 in the Georgia Territory. Despite always finding great success, they would arguably reach the pinnacle of their success when they joined the WWF in 1979 with their manager, Captain Lou Albano. Afa and Sika were never the biggest talkers, and honestly, they didn't need to be. They went out with butts, took names, and that's all they needed to do. When you have a tag team this fierce, sometimes having them talk too much can really water down the presentation. The whole lure about them was that they were crazy Samoans that would do anything, and I mean anything that it would take to win. However, when you have a great manager and slick talker like Lou Albano, honestly, it's just a heat magnet for the two. It was a match made in heaven. Lou Albano being able to talk trash, knowing that his wild Samoans would always back it up, was the perfect recipe of how to garner heat. Well, I don't have to say any more. Vince McManus against Superfly, Jimmy Snooker, one of a kind, a man that you know I have a personal vendetta with, and his partner, Andre the Giant, that big seven foot four, 467 pound freak of nature. Yes, a very, on his own right, Andre is perhaps unbeatable, but as a combined effort with the brain of a Jimmy Snooker, not being able to think, not being able to have that continuity, C-O-N-G-U-T-Y, the togetherness that is so vital in a tag team combination, I believe that these men, Sika and Arthur, with a combined 586 pounds of power, agility, speed, dynamite, intestinal fortitude, and go behind, have got it all together, brother. You see what I mean? Having those two stare at you so menacingly, so threatening, and you have Captain Lou Albano just running his mouth, garnering so much heat, talking about, at the time, beloved Jimmy Fly Snooker, I don't know how we all feel about him today, but at the time, in 1983, everybody loved him some Jimmy Snooker. And Andre the Giant, one of the most beloved and most well-known wrestlers in history, and just to disrespect them like that, knowing nobody can touch you, 
because you got these two monsters standing in front of you? Yeah, man. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that this wasn't a perfect match back in 1983. This is exactly how you get a monster tag team over. Often, Seeker probably didn't know that they needed a manager, which, I mean, given they didn't, they did fine with them for 10 years. But just to add, just to add that weasel in Lou Albano, it just got people to hate you even more. And it garnered great reactions everywhere they went. Alpha and Sika went on to win the WWF Tag Team titles three times, which was a great feat back during that time. People didn't win the tag titles that many times in the WWF back in the 80s. Alpha and Sika were the quintessential prototype on how to create a monster tag team in wrestling. And because of that, they were recognized at the 2007 WWE Hall of Fame. Many of Alpha's children followed in their father's footsteps and became wrestlers. And Sika went on to have one of the most well-known WWE superstars of all time, Roman Reigns, or Joe Anuai. And we can't forget about Roman Reigns' brother, also the oldest son of Sika Anuai, Matthew Anuai, who we also knew as Rosie in the WWE. May he rest in peace. One of the final times that we were able to see Alpha and Seiko on our television screens is when they crowned Roman Reigns as the tribal chief. And honestly, I couldn't think of a more fitting way for them to make their final appearance on television. Having such a phenomenal tag team who really put Samoan wrestling on the map pass the torch to who now Manny will consider the biggest name in WWE. So today, we honor one of the greatest tag teams in wrestling history, Afa Anuai and Sika Anuai. They did everything together. They moved to San Francisco together. They started wrestling together. They became worldwide phenomenons together. And just months apart, they went away together. And I guess that's also fitting for brothers who truly had a deep connection and a true love for one another could not stand to be away from each other longer than two months. Rest in peace, Alpha. Rest in peace, Sika. We love you, and we thank you for everything that you've done for the wrestling business, and we thank you for everything you've done for Samoan culture.